Pediatric hospital beds are in short supply. Occupancy rates are the highest in two years with a wave of respiratory viruses hitting kids hard. Some states like Texas are at 90 percent capacity. Washington, D.C. is above 80 percent. And according to Illinois Department of Public Health, about 6 percent of pediatric beds were available as of October the 18th. Ann Geist Kemper is a respiratory therapist treating patients at Rush University Medical Center. She joins us live. Ann, good morning. Good morning. So what are you seeing at Rush? We're definitely seeing an influx of these pediatric patients here. And right now, the numbers that we're seeing, um, it's, it's ever changing. So it's really important to know when to seek care. Are you near capacity? Can you give us an idea of what, of what the, the rate is for just how full your beds are? We're not at capacity at this time. Our numbers are ever changing. Okay. Now, do children generally recover from RSV quickly? It depends on the child, but yes, we're, we're hopefully, most patients aren't needing to be hospitalized, which is great, right? There's a, there's a different subset of symptoms for most patients who see RSV are going to see some of those milder symptoms, um, maybe cough, fever, congestion, and those are symptoms that can be managed at home. Now, there's no vaccine for RSV, so how do you go about treating it? We really give supportive care. So it kind of depends on what that child looks like. At home, you're able to give supportive care by hydration, um, fever medication, nasal saline, suctioning. Those are all great things you can do from home before you ever need to seek care at a hospital. And if you were to need to come to a hospital, we would give additional supportive care. And as a respiratory therapist, our supportive care is through different oxygen modalities um, and, and support. Well, this baby on the screen just break, breaks your heart. You hate to see your kids sick. A at what point, Anne, do you know that it's time to take your child to the hospital? That's a great question. So those mild symptoms that I referred to, fever, cough, and congestion, those are going to be very common. Sometimes you might see some more observable symptoms that are a little bit more moderate, and that would include increased work of breathing. And what that means is you might see them struggling, struggling a little bit to breathe from their neck. Maybe they're using their bellies a little bit more to breathe, or even you see their ribs. So if you're seeing some of that, in addition to maybe some nasal flaring or breathing very fast, if you're seeing some of that, that's the opportunity to seek some additional care, whether that be calling your pediatrician or maybe scheduling a virtual visit. Great advice from Ann Geist Kemper with Rush University Medical Center. Ann, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.